What is up, my scorpions? Welcome back. That was probably like the stupidest intro I've probably ever done. I don't know. That sounded so stupid. Anyways, hi, Scorpio, my lovely scorpions. Welcome to Leo season. Are you loving it so far? Are you loving it? <laughs> okay, so let's see what Leo season is going to be like for you guys. Let's see what amazing events are going to happen for you in Leo season. Okay? Okay, so... Oh, well, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> a little confused right now on what to do. How to let go of something. How can you let go of a situation? It's almost like you're trying to keep the peace. You're trying to keep the tower from falling. You're trying to prevent the chaos from happening, especially if it has to do with another person or a relationship here. Um, Uranus is going retrograde this month in your seventh house of relationships. So it's like you've been trying to keep the peace, very Libran style, or someone's trying to keep the peace and you're the one that's like ready to explode. Triggered, like just knock the whole freaking thing down so we can rebuild, right? That's what Scorpio is all about. Death, rebirth, death, rebirth, death, rebirth. Wash your hands of it. Let's just kill it all and do it over again, you know? But someone's hanging on for dear life, whether this is you or someone else, someone is hanging on for dear life and you don't know whether to just let it all fall or keep clinging, you know what I mean? But it's like, if you have to cling, it's already lost anyway, you know what I mean? So it's gonna require a lot of strength. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, it's gonna require a lot of strength it's going to require a lot of courage. It's going to require facing a fear that you have in order for this to come full circle, in order for you to be satisfied. But in the end, you're going to be grateful. You're going to be grateful that you let go. You know what I mean? Just the way these cards look right now, and I'll show you guys them in a minute. There's this kind of teeter-tottering, and this may not resonate, I'll get to the astrology in a minute, it may resonate a little bit more, um, but this is pretty specific, I hope it's making sense so far, let me know down below if it is, it's, mm, see the world has all the fixed signs on it, and you're a fixed sign Scorpio, so it's got Taurus, Aquarius, you, what am I missing, Leo, <laughs> like wait a second uh it's got all of you guys on there and I really feel like it's it's the ending it's moving out of that fixed energy even though we're in Leo season which is a fixed sign it's like it's building something on on top of that fixed energy it's having the courage to create oh and look at that sorry about that they always want to fall on the floor having the courage to create to start anew the empress the divine feminine it's trusting in the darkness it's trusting in the beauty it's trusting in the fear it's overcoming the fear and you guys know probably more than most people that there is a certain kind of beauty in darkness you know it's how you use it, right? But there's a certain kind of beauty in darkness. There's a certain kind of love and creation. Seeds planted. So from the ashes, you will rise, Scorpio. I feel like you're right on the edge anyway, you know? You're right on the edge of just letting it all fall apart. Now, yes, this could be a relationship, or it just could be something else in your life. Honestly, we're dealing with a lot of 10th house stuff this month, Leo season. It's all about your career, baby. All about your future, your path, your goals. But something wasn't set in stone all the way. Something wasn't solid or else that tower wouldn't be crumbling. You know what I mean? The foundation was already screwed up, basically. So you can hold on to the four coins that you've had and, and what you've built with those four coins, 
or you can let it all fall and move on. And I think that's kind of where you're at right now. What do I do? What, like, what's going to happen if it all falls? Am I going to be okay? You're going to be more than okay. You have the Nine of Cups, the world, the Empress, strength to help you. You're going to be great. And you're going to be grateful that you did, you know? Like, so... Ooh, it's all happening so fast. So you're reborn from the ashes, you're planting new seeds, you're creating new life, like you are creating a whole new world for yourself. And then whether you meet someone new or this is a relationship or your relationship gets better or you whatever you know or this is just a choice a new path that presents itself to you a more balanced path that presents itself to you either way once you let go it all happens so fast and you're able to forgive and move on you're able to see where you're where you're headed you're able to see the star you're able to let the star guide you you're able to let your purpose even guide you this is insane, Scorpio. This is a really, really good reading. You have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Leo, all coming up here. Now, you may not be necessarily dealing with one of those signs in particular, but yeah, just letting you know in case you are. Um, so... This is such a beautiful reading. I feel like a lot of the signs that normally have been having like a hard time or have been having some funky readings are getting really beautiful readings. It's like you're scared to make that move. You're scared to let that tower fall because you can't see the bigger picture. You know what I mean? You can't see the beauty that's gonna happen, happen after it falls. So let me, allow me to show you my lovely Scorpios. So, move your astrology notes out of the way. This is what happened. So as you can see, you're kind of stuck between letting it all fall or hanging on for dear life. It takes strength to let go. You know, it takes strength to release. And I think this Leo new moon is really kind of helping you with this. Something kind of shocking or out of nowhere or unexpected could have like come in randomly for you, Scorpio. And now you're trying to keep the peace, but it's time to release it because once you gather the strength and learn how to release it, you learn how to work with it. You learn how to tame the fear. Then you move into gratitude, you move into satisfaction, you move into emotionally healing, and then a completion, whether this is karmic, whether this is a cycle completing, and then we move into the empress, planting new seeds, creating, communicating, say like creation beauty building again from the ground up being at peace being at harmony and then things start taking off really really fast and you find the new path that you're supposed to go down for some of you you've been waiting on a gemini to contact you it looks like they do and they may want forgiveness okay to get a little bit more specific that's just a message for some of you um but either way, there's this fast movement, there's a new path, there's a balance, there's a harmony, there's taking a step back from all of the different polarities. And then there's forward movement. They're seeing your future. They're seeing your purpose. They're seeing what you're, what you're here to do, what you're meant to do. Some of you could even be getting a lot of recognition in August, Scorpio. That's honestly a beautiful reading. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like blown away here. Anyway, so 
Um, the Leo new moon is happening in your 10th house, like I said. So it's happening the night that I'm filming this, uh, July 31st. You may be seeing this after that. I apologize. But um, so, yeah, this is going to be uh, all about your career, where you're going, your goals, your perceptions. Also, it's um, Uranus is going to be making some aspects to Mercury in your ninth house. So be careful about what you say. You may find that um, you're feeling like your your beliefs or your perceptions are clashing with others um this could be whoo this could be like a kind of like an opinionated battle that happens around this time mercury will go direct though the same night so you may feel like something that you've been like really hiding or some kind of bias that you have may like force itself out of you uh so watch what you say or put out into the world just be careful with that i'm just saying <laughs> um so jupiter goes direct on the 11th and Jupiter is in your second house. So you may have had some delays, some weird things going on with your finances, your income, um, the things that you value in life that will come to an end. Once Jupiter goes to direct, Uranus is going retrograde also on the 11th. And this is in your seventh house of relationships. So there may be a certain need to break free, to express your individuality, to, to feel more, eccentric to to bring in more excitement more thrill into your relationship life um a lot of changes could happen in your relationships around this time you could attract a lot of weird people into your life that you wouldn't normally kind of develop relationships with um so just be aware of that Uranus goes retrograde on the 11th and is retrograding until next year <laughs> Um, but when Uranus goes retrograde, the whole point is to liberate us, to break us free from any areas of our life that we feel stuck in. And for you, Scorpio, it's happening in Taurus. So if you're Scorpio rising, this is your seventh house. If you're a Scorpio um, sun, you could still see these themes as well. But um, when it's happening in your seventh house, any areas in your relationships where you feel stuck, where you feel trapped, it is going to push you um, or push the events around you to kind of transpire, to push you out of a situation, to clear a path for you. It may seem chaotic, it may seem destructive at first, or it may seem really like shocking to some at first, but it's doing it to help you kind of free yourself. You know what I mean? Um, but it may not be like that serious for all of you. I'm just saying, if you are at the beginning degrees of Scorpio, so the first 10 degrees of Scorpio, if your sun or rising is at the first 10 degrees, you will be feeling your honest um, the most, and you probably already have. So anyways, um, then we have the Aquarius full moon on the 15th. This is happening in your fourth house. So there could be some release, some changes, some closing, um, some endings happening with like uh, your family in some way. Some of you could be moving or traveling. Um, some of you could, or just your home environment, your foundation. You could find yourself being a little bit more emotional around this time as well, Scorpio. Um, but basically this is endings releasing or changes or clarity to do with your family life so just watch out for that around this uh, aquarius full moon then we have the virgo new moon on the 30th and this is going to be in your 11th house so this is going to be some forward positive changes in your relationships and your social life some renewals maybe you start maybe you join some kind of group or you're in some kind of group activity or some kind of new social circle or you're focused on maybe giving back and, and being at service to others in some kind of humanitarian way or helping people in some way towards the end of the month. So that could definitely be something you find yourself doing as well. So anyways, uh, that is basically everything for you guys. I think Scorpio, as always, let me know down below uh, in the comments if you resonated with this reading. You know, I'd love to know. Sorry, I couldn't get the camera adjusted there. So yeah, I'd really love to know how you guys feel about this reading. I think it's wonderful. I don't want to go over it again because I know you're like, we get it. We get it, Tony. We get it. <laughs> but um, I'll be clarifying all of this on my Patreon and the extended bonus reading. I'll also be doing the monthly love readings over there as well, like I have been. If you'd like to join Patreon, you can go check it out. I'm starting a course called Soulology uh, tomorrow, August 1st. And it's all about spiritual transformation, soul alignment, spiritual development. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. You don't have to necessarily sign up by tomorrow. You can sign up whenever and join whenever. But I'm just letting you guys know. If you have any Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising in your chart, then you get $10 off all readings with me this month. So definitely go check that out as well at tawnymichelleterology.com. I love you, Scorpio. And I will see you guys in my other videos.